everybody so I am doing a hairstyle um, I don't think I ever done a hairstyle before on this channel um, so this is a collab video with my friend Madison or aka Girly Girl um, so if you want to see the makeup that she's doing for picture day um, I will link her channel down below so go check that out and um, the hairstyle that I'm doing is very unique and very easy and like it takes about five minutes just to do this and personally I always run late on picture day um, I would always leave my hair straight which that's the regular hairstyle that I have straight um, so yeah I love this hairstyle I mostly wear it every single day well not every single day because you don't want your hair to be the same hairstyle every single day but um I wear it a lot so if you want to see the hairstyle that I'm doing, keep watching. Okay, so the things you'll be needing is a brush. This is just a brush that I have. It's by Conair. Um, and I think it's a petal brush. Is this a petal brush? I don't know. Um, just any brush. It doesn't really matter. Next thing you'll be needing is some elastics. These are very important for this hairstyle because you always want your hair to blend in with like the elastics that you're holding them with. So people will be like, how up, you know um so this is from the dollar store this is a 500 pack it has like five colors in here and i'm going to be taking the colors that match my hairstyle well my hair color the best um which is black and dark brown and um there's white and there's like clearish and then there's like a light brown that you can pick out too um this is very optional but i'm going to be using a serum um, this is the Chi Silk Infusion. A dupe for this is Garnier Fructis anti frizz Serum. I love serums. They make your hair look so good. <laughs> like, they make them look shiny, but not like shiny greasy, but shiny good. Um, and it just makes the whole hairstyle look awesome. Um, the next thing... Oh, the next thing, if you want to tie it off at the end of this hairstyle, you can use a hairband, but I'm not going to be using one. So that's optional too. So the first step is brushing your hair to one side. So I personally put it on the side where my bangs are. So the bangs will be tied in with this. Um, so I'm going to be taking a little, uh, not elastic, sorry. I'm going to be taking my serum and just a little bit because you do not need a lot. Do not put serums close to your roots. Um, that will make your hair look greasy. So I'm taking less than a dime size because my hair does not need much. So focusing at the end and your bangs mostly. So there we go. Now take an elastic and gather all your hair. And tie it all together now you don't exactly have to put an elastic here but if you want to hold it together um, I I put it here okay so the next step is breaking this into three sorry about my bangs I hate my bangs Okay, so I had to tie it again because I like my bangs to fit in with this. Sorry, that was my computer. Um, so I forgot to say so, but you need five elastics if you're going to be tying this off right here. But I always have extra because sometimes they fly all over the place and sometimes they break. Because <laughs> my hair is very thick. And yeah, so I'm going to split this into three. So taking the first two and tying them off right now for later. Sorry if you hear snoring, my cat is snoring. So now that you have the piece in the back, I always start from the back to the front. Um, split that into three. 
sorry if it's really quiet sometimes. It's just I like to focus on the hair when I'm doing it. So now braiding it. When it's wet, it's easier to um, braid because it's, it doesn't slip right out of your hand. Sorry, I'm really tired right now because it's like 9 in the morning. Okay, so now you have braid, and now you're going to braid the rest of these strands, and I'll be right back. Okay, so this scared the heck out of me when this went off, but I don't know. Now it's 9, because I'm going to turn this one off so it doesn't go off on me. Okay, because I woke up at like 7 or so. So when you have your braids, of course you're going to have excess of hair, because if you do have flares, it is going to, you don't want to keep braiding with just two, I guess. So now you're just going to braid all the strands together. I love this braid. It is so pretty. It's unique, and people would be like, how'd you get that? But if you don't like all this bundled up braids, you can always leave like two strands straight. And then you can just braid on like one like braid one strand and the other strands just leave them alone and then like braid them together and then you'll just have like this braid going through your hair if you want to add color to this braid um it's optional so you can add an extension into your hair to make it look awesome but i don't exactly want to put a extension in my hair right now One second. Okay, so I do recommend dark brown for this kind of hair. So if you have my hair color, I do recommend dark brown only. Because if you do have black and like one piece goes farther than the other, then it will be showing. So I just took out one because this doesn't exactly unravel. So now I'm going to like make it chunkier by pulling on it. But I don't exactly need to do this since the hair is really, really thick. So just keep doing it. It makes it looser too, so if you like the looser, chunkier effect, then I really recommend pulling some of them, of them out. So this is what it looks like. I love this braid. It's uh, I love it. Like I'm, I think I said love it like 20 times in this video already, and I don't know. I really, really love it. And you guys should love it too because it's so unique and it's so pretty and I need to go now because my dad's been bugging me about making him eggs in my house my eggs are the most fantastic famous ones in the world so I need to go make him eggs before he starts saying where's my breakfast so all right bye.